Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something so exciting, so extraordinary to show you for the holidays from Chanel. And yes, the makeup collection is coming. You can expect a full review as soon as it's available in stores. This is actually better than that, if you can imagine. For the first time since 1921, Chanel has released two fragrances in a limited edition exclusive red iconic bottle. So we have the number five Eau de Parfum and then the number five Low Eau de Toilette. In the history of Chanel, they have never changed the classic number five bottle. And we're told this is never going to happen ever again. So it's really sort of a Chanel collectors, a Chanel lovers dream come true for the holidays that we get to have these amazing pieces of art. They are available on Chanel.com and in the Chanel boutiques. Mark your calendars. November 1st is going to be the big launch in stores. I highly recommend that you reserve one. I'm gonna leave information down below in the description box if you'd like to order one through me because these are going to fly so fast. Chanel number no. five already sells incredibly quickly during the holidays. And once they're gone, they are gone for good. First, let's take a look at the Chanel number no. five limited edition. It's a 3.4 ounce bottle, which retails for $160. So it is a little bit pricier. Number five was the first abstract fragrance with the use of aldehydes. The floral bouquet is composed of May Rose, Jasmine, featuring bright citrus top notes, and there's a smooth touch of bourbon vanilla that lingers in the sensual trail. And here we have the number five low Eau de Toilette. This is also a 3.4 ounce bottle for $160. Lowe was composed by the current in-house perfumer, Olivier Polge, and it's a crisp, fresh take on the classic. It features dynamic top notes of lemon, mandarin, and orange that give the scent a light-hearted transparency. The heart of the bouquet unfolds with rose, jasmine, and a new fraction of Lang Lang. Trailing behind is a vibrant cedar and cottony musk. Now everyone knows that Chanel number no. 5 is classic, but in case you didn't know, here are some of my favorite fun facts about Chanel number no. 5. The fragrance was inspired by the quintessential female. Gabrielle Chanel wanted to create a fragrance that smelled like a woman. In 2012, Brad Pitt became the first man to represent a female fragrance when he created an iconic commercial for Chanel number no. 5. The bottle stopper represents the geometric shape of the Place Vendôme in Paris. Chanel No. 5 made history, becoming one of the first fragrances to use aldehydes or a synthetic scent, which completely revolutionized the fragrance industry. Chanel No. 5 contains 80 different ingredients with no single distinguishable flower. It's meant to represent a blooming bouquet of many flowers and it got its name because it was the fifth sample presented to Gabrielle Chanel. Number five also was her lucky number. Along with the two limited edition bottles, Chanel's also re-releasing the number five body oil, which has been so popular in the past and is generally only available around the holidays. So if this is something that you love as well, definitely take advantage. Now you may be wondering why they chose a red bottle. Why not a different color? Of course, red is synonymous for the holidays, so it seems like a perfect match. But in actuality, red and Chanel go hand in hand. It was one of Gabrielle Chanel's favorite colors. In 1924, she came out with her very first red lipstick. It was in an ivory container and it was something that she offered exclusively to her fashion clients. Red is also one of the color codes for the house of Chanel. So if you look at Chanel fashion, accessories, all of the little details, even if it's just the lining of an inside of a Chanel bag, you'll find lots of pops of red, pops of color. She believed that it was a color of passion, of courage. She's famously quoting as saying that red is the color of life, the color of blood. She also would say that if you're sad, put on more lipstick and attack. Well, the color lipstick she was referring to was red. Chanel wanted women to wear 
bold red lipstick to make a statement, to feel confident and powerful. She was all about empowering women with the color of red. It truly isn't just a red bottle. It's a piece of art. It's a timeless keepsake. It's a tribute and homage to the history of the brand and also to the story of Chanel and to Gabrielle, Coco Chanel herself, since this is a color and a shade that meant so much to her and was one of her favorite colors. We've seen in recent times where red has been reimagined in Chanel. For instance, with the new creator, Lucia Pica, her very first collection was La Rouge Collection Number no. 1, which of course had lots of red lipstick and then red eyeshadow, a red blush. So Rouge and Chanel, it truly is a beautiful marriage. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. I will be linking these fragrances to Chanel.com and then updating to include the Nordstrom.com links as soon as those are available. And then I'm also going to include any information that you need to order from me in store. That way you can reserve your bottle and you don't miss out because they are beautiful. Now to make sure that you don't miss out on any new videos of mine, don't forget to subscribe.